Okay, so we know that the capital A means that the uh, amount owed after certain unit of time, in this case it is monthly. So A1 is the amount owed after one month. If the principal amount, that is the loan amount is P and the interest rate is R, then this is the amount owed after one month before the repayment is made and then after the repayment is made this is if the monthly repayment is m this is the amount owed after one month similarly after two months we know that the interest will be on the whole of it and then again so i will have to do this for the next one i won't go into further this one so this is how it is the after two months so similar this way so the question says why A300 is zero. Now we can see that the person took the loan for a period of 25 years and it is being returned, he is returning the money monthly. That means there are 25 into 12, that is 300 months. So amount owed after 300 months will be A300 and since the loan is taken for 300 months, after 300 months, the amount owed has to be zero. This is why A300 is zero. Now, going to the second one, we can see that P is P is given by 180, this is P, and the interest rate is 6.6 .6 percent per annum but we can see that the amount is compounded monthly so we have to see what we have to find what is the monthly interest so in order to do do that we have to just divide by 12 and that way we get 0.55 and percent in terms of fraction this is 0055 so 1 plus r is 1.0055 okay. and so what we see is after one month if I write uh, I will write initially just P so P1 plus R and after the loan amount is returned this is this one after second month this is 1 plus R minus M the whole amount 1 plus R and then the return amount so this is the interest after second month and sorry this one is the amount owed after second month subtracted so this is goes something like this 1 plus R square minus M so we can see we have seen before that in the theory we have seen this there's a pattern here so the pattern is for the third month it will be cube m1 plus r sorry this is not a square here this is just so this is r square minus m1 plus r this is different and then m so this is how it goes so after a300 it has to become something like this this will be 300 and then we will have here M, if I take the M out and if I write it in reverse order, there will be 1, 1 plus R plus 1 plus R square going up to there and then 1 plus R to the power 299 because it's always one short. Now, since I am running out of space, I have to erase something on top. But just scroll, uh, just rewind the video to watch anything that's missing. So this one, if I just uh, will write few things here. So we know this, we can see that this is a geometric series. When the initial amount is A is equal to 1. And if I say the common ratio to be capital R, this is 1 plus R. So the sum will be, since we can see that 1 plus R, which is 1.55 1 plus r is 1.1.0055 1 which is greater than 1 so the sum formula will be a 
r to the power n minus 1 capital R r minus 1 so my r is actually 1 plus r so r is equal to 1 plus small r lower case r so if I plug in those things it will become here 1 plus r minus r which is 1 plus r is 0, 0, 0055 5 minus 1 and a is 1 here so a is 1 so 1 plus r 1.0055 to the power there are this n has to be the number of terms so how many terms are there this one's the first one's power is 0 so 0 1 2 3 up to 299 so there are in total actually 300 terms because the first one is to the power 0 so 300 minus 1 this is the thing and we can see now if we plug in instead of P we I will just erase the first part here again so instead of P if I write 1800 then another 0 and 1 plus R as I have said before 0055 to the power 300 so this is the a 300 which is the proof there so this is a 300 so I will have to use to do this third one I have to actually use this formula but I will erase this one and then I will start in a new page so basically my a 300 is 0 because all the amount is returned now so the left hand side of that formula becomes 0 this is becoming 180 0, 0, 0 and times 1.0055 to the power 300 minus m here m is unknown and this is what we need to find out because it says size of each repayment to the bank that is what is the amount the person pays each month to the bank that's what we need to find out so now we see here that there is only one unknown here 300 minus 1 and this one after subtraction actually I think I didn't uh, uh, I just left it like 1.0055 minus 1 but if I do if we do the subtraction we actually can get the right hand side of question B, the denominator of the second term of right hand side. So just the subtraction, I, I think I, I missed doing that. But yes, so if I now rearrange this whole thing, becomes 1.0055300 minus 1, and this becomes 18000 times 1.0055 the power 300 I can just write like that and um, sorry this one will come as a multiplication here because this is going to the other side and so I'm just rearranging the whole thing this is becoming 180000 times 1.0055 to the power 300 times 0 0.0055 because this one is multiplied so what what happens actually if I take this one this part on the left hand side this equation new equation becomes something like this so this part is erased and this is this becomes just like that so then from there this is this thing so so I'm just rewriting this whole thing here this is I'm taking this the denominator 1.0055 to the power 300 minus 1 so what we should do we should plug in this formula as it is in the calculator and then we can we will find the result which is approximately 0 0.644 it goes on but I'm just taking three terms and I'm leaving it so this is the amount the person pays to the bank every month now the
question 4 which is D I have just have done C now so I will again erase this part and I will use I will need to use this value so just need to remember this thing and or you can just rewind this part to find look at this one so I will erase this part and I have to look at question D it says find the total paid to the bank correct to the nearest dollar over the life of the loan so what is the total amount he pays to the bank every month he pays one six four four or something and he pays for how many months for 300 months so just multiply it it is very simple and if we do the multiplication we get something like 367 993 this is the total amount he pays to the bank so this is question D then in E the question is what amount is therefore paid in interest so this is the total amount paid and the amount he actually borrowed is 180,000 there's no so this is the amount he paid in total and this is he borrowed so the subtraction is the interest amount this will be the interest so if I do the subtraction it becomes 187 993 you should double check the calculation though I'm just writing them but there may be mistake so yeah then use this amount and the simple interest formula to calculate the simple interest rate per annum over the life of the loan so this is the interest amount if the interest is simple interest we have to see what is the interest per annum so it says about per annum not per month so we have to go into years now so we have to see this is the total interest in how many years 25 years because that's the number of years so 25 years if I divide by that and then I will get something like this one so this is the interest he pays he or she whatever he pays every month every year sorry each year he pays this is the interest amount now I have to find the interest rate per annum simple interest rate so this is per annum the whole interest so the interest is on the loan amount so in order to find the interest rate I have to divide this one by the total interest uh, total amount loan amount 180000 because the interest is actually on this loan amount if I do this one this division and in order to make it in percentage multiply by 100 percent and this way I get something like this one if this calculation is done this should be something like that so this is the interest in terms of simple interest this is the interest per annum is paying so this is the